Hello everyone, we have a Citroen C3 in today. Customer complaint is chucking and hesitation on motorway. So first of all, what we have to do is, there's no light there message in the dash. We're going to take it for a wee spin and see can we recreate the problem. So let's go for a drive. Ah, there we go. What is going on? We have stop engine and an oil pressure light. And we also have light here on the dash. So the customer didn't mention oil pressure light at all. The customer just said the car started driving like uh, a kangaroo, if you will, and jumping, hopping, skipping, and also the customer did state possibly bad petrol. We're after seeing an oil pressure light on. It's a very common issue on these, and we'll go back to the workshop and we'll just chat about that. As soon as I saw the oil pressure light, I pulled in, stopped the car. You do not drive a car with a red oil pressure light on, because it means you have zero oil pressure. So we've stopped the car immediately, so we're not going to cause any engine damage. I'm thinking that the time belt's about to break and little pieces of have gone in and blocked the goes in the sump. Um, I'm going to leave it sit here for a couple of minutes. We'll start the car up again, and we're only beside the garage anyway. So if I'll start it up, I'll drive it slowly back to the carriage. If the oil comes on again, I'll have to get towed back. If not, it'll be safe to drive slowly because if there is an oil pressure issue persisting, the light will come back straight away. So uh, let's get back to the workshop. So we're after confirming customer complaint, although a little bit different than what the customer had told us, but nevertheless, um, still a pretty serious issue when you see an oil pressure light coming on. Okay, so when you look in here, see our time belt is starting to actually decompose, for want of a better word, as I rub it down. So the actual belt is just disintegrating. So as these pieces start to come off the belt, they gather up in the sump and go up and block the oil strainer in the oil pickup. It's a very, very dangerous thing for an engine for that to happen. Um, but thankfully, Peugeot and Citroen have embedded into their software that if they do have an oil pressure issue, to just shut the engine down. So that's, uh, that's what's actually saved this car. So at this stage, uh, we hand it over to Ian. Ian! Okay, so Sean looked at this last week. It needs a wet belt. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put flush into it because obviously the belt is starting to degrade in the oil. So all that there is starting to block up the pickup possibly. So we're going to put the flush into it. We're going to clean it out, then replace the belt. So I've just removed the sump. And as you can see, the pickup pipe is absolutely blocked. You can actually see the gauze there now. This is not going to do good for your engine. So we're very lucky to have caught this now because this would have been detrimental that the engine would have locked up. This is not the worst I've seen, but it, it's up there amongst the worst of them. Just removed the gauze from the pickup pipe, and as you can see, this is just a quarter of what I'm just after pulling out. And this is all the wet belt. We have now replaced the wet belt, and in doing that, we've also cleaned out the solenoids for the brackets, and we've also cleaned out the gauze for the vacuum pump. If you didn't do this, you could still cause damage to the engine because you haven't cleaned out the debris from the wet belt. But now that that is all nice and clean, uh, we're ready just to fit the rocket cover. Yeah. 